Welcome to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today we're talking all experimental airplanes. Generally speaking, we have two different sets of industry in civil aviation. You have your certified airplanes and then you have experimental airplanes. Certified airplanes are factory built airplanes that goes through safety and regulations and then get certified by the FAA. And then you have experimental airplanes where you simply buy a kit and you build your own aircraft. This is one of the most amazing thing about aviation in America. The fact that you get to build your own flying machine. And today we're going to look at the top five best experimental airplanes in the market. Keep in mind in ranking these airplanes, we're looking at several things. A lot is performance, but we're looking at not just speed, not just useful load, but also the comfort, the cost, and utility. So for example, some of the airplanes you see on this list may not go as fast, but they have better useful load, the cost, they're very cost effective, and you can use them in several different scenarios. Number five on the list is the Lance Air Evolution. Now, if you're not familiar with this airplane, first, the Lance Air brand is one of the most popular kit builders here in the US, and they have different lines of airplanes. The Evolution is their most expensive model. When you look at the Lance Air Evolution, first off, there's really nothing out there that looks like this airplane. And some people like or hate the body style. I personally love it uh, because it looks like a mini jet. And in some ways it is. This airplane is fitted with a turbine engine, meaning you have turbo props. And you get very similar performance as if you're flying a light jet. This airplane travels well over 300 knots cruise speed. And you're climbing four times the amount of a normal piston engine airplane. This airplane will climb at 4,000 feet a minute. If that's not jet like, I don't know anything else that is. Now in terms of useful load, you get about 800 pounds of useful load with this airplane and although it's a four seater, usually if you fill up the tanks in this airplane, you barely have enough room to carry two people to a few hundred miles or about a thousand miles. But the great news is that you get there and you get there fast. Traveling well over 300 miles per hour, this airplane will beat just about any other light jet or single engine airplanes out there. It is very, very fast. With the Evolution, you're burning about 45 gallons per hour. Being a turbine engine, that's actually pretty fuel efficient. Now, there are only few of these airplanes flying in the market. There's about 70 or 80 total aircraft that's been built so far, and partly is because of the cost. To get into one of these bad boys, you need at least a million dollars. The average Lancer Evolution will cost you anywhere from 1.2 to 1.3 million dollars. Half of that cost is your engine alone. So the turbine engine is not a cheap engine to buy or maintain, but it is a very efficient and very reliable engine. And for the people who build this airplane, again, everyone has a personal preference, but I like to think that speed goes into the main factor of building one of these. And again, instead of having to buy a light jet, or a jet for that matter, you can get into a turbine single engine airplane and go just as fast while you're burning less gas. And in the long run, this airplane actually holds its value. And again, that's partly due to the fact that not a lot of people are flying it. So that value holds up really nicely for you. So if you're in the market and you're looking at a light jet or a mid-sized jet, you definitely want to take a look at the Lancer Evolution because you get very similar performance for a fraction of the cost. Number four on the list is the Glass Air 3. Now, if you have been paying attention on this channel, you know that I have a personal preference for this particular airplane. The Glass Air 3 comes in at number four for several reasons. Okay, first is the performance, hands down, this airplane is one of the fastest single engine airplanes out there. In this airplane, you're cruising easily at over 250 knots, 
translation you're cruising at 300 miles per hour so with this airplane you're literally flying a speed machine you get from point A to point B in no time now the glass air 3 is only two-seater but you have enough useful load in this airplane that you can carry two people comfortably and travel just as fast while you're only burning very little amount of gas per hour that's one of the benefits of the glass air actually it is very fuel efficient for the type of performance and speed you get in this airplane you're burning similar amount of gas than you would in maybe a Cessna 172 that goes only a fraction of the speed so you do have an airplane that is very fuel efficient but with very high performance now another good thing about the glass air is the comfort if you look at one you can see the cabin space is very spacious at least for two people if two people sit in this cabin it is very spacious one thing I love about the glass air also is that the height so once you sit in the cabin you have enough room you have enough headroom and enough uh, width again the cabin just looks very spacious and I think for long trips that goes a long way now to get in one of these bad boys you need at least two hundred to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars which to me is a great bargain for an airplane that performs like this this is a great bargain for the price that you get for it number three on the list is the X Cub from Cub Crafters talk about an airplane that you can take literally anywhere this is a bush airplane that you can fly into remote places if you love camping you love to go to the beach you love to take your airplane to remote destinations where you don't necessarily have a paved runway then this is the perfect airplane for you now the reason the cup crafters makes the list today is because this is one of the most popular and probably the most reliable bush airplane you find in the market today the cup crafters have many lines of airplanes and the x cup is just one of them to me one of the best performing bush airplane in the market today and i wasn't kidding when i said you can do literally anything with this airplane you can fly it to camping areas you can fly it on around mountains you can fly to the beach you can land this airplane almost anywhere and that's why you buy one of these this is an airplane with capabilities that a lot of single engine airplanes don't have it's not just capable but the utility of this airplane is amazing you have over a thousand pounds of useful load what that means for the average pilot is that you can throw in one more person and throw in a bunch of baggage all luggage in the back for you and just go just go wherever you need to go now this airplane will cruise easily at 145 miles per hour it's not your typical airplane where you can maybe have 50 to 100 pounds of luggage space this airplane gives you a good amount of space or room for you to put all your stuff it was built with the right pilot in mind if you are the type that loves to go camping that loves to go skiing love to travel to remote areas this is the perfect airplane for you you get the performance you get the range and you get the useful load now to get into one of these you're looking at at least hundred and eighty to two hundred thousand dollars and the great thing about this airplane is you have the certified model but you can also buy it as a kit and build it yourself and with a kit you get very similar options as you would in a factory built airplane if you don't believe the hype just go take a ride in one of these and see if you don't fall in love number two on the list is the sling 4 if you've watched this channel long enough you've seen me review this airplane the sling 4 is a four seater airplane that you can build as a kit it is an experimental airplane from airplane factory from south africa now unlike all the four seater airplane out there the Sling 4 may be the only one where they tell you it's a four-seater and you can actually carry four adults in this airplane and go flying. I don't know how they did it, but they made it happen. Now, the only thing about the Sling 4 is that it uses a small road tax engine. And for some, this is underpowered. But if you see what this engine can do or you go take a test flight in one of these airplanes, 
you see what all the hype is about. Now, generally, a lot of four-seater airplane, even two-seater airplane, you're looking at 160, 180, and over 200 horsepower to be able to carry all that weight. But in the Sling 4, you have a Rotax 914, which only puts out about 115 horsepower. Now, you say that's low, or that's something you put in the light sport, but the 115 horsepower also comes with a turbocharger, meaning you get 100% of all that horsepower during your climb and all the way up to 15,000 feet. Now, because it also has a small engine, it also means that you're traveling very efficiently. The Sling 4, when I flew it, you're only burning about five to six gallons per hour while traveling over 120 knots. Translation, you're traveling 130 to 145 miles per hour and you're only burning six gallons per hour. The Airplane Factory also offers a quick build assist program. What this means is that instead of taking two years to build your airplane, for an additional fee, you can get your airplane done within six months. Now, in terms of cost, you can find a ready-built Sling 4 for around $170,000 to $190,000. If you were to build one on your own, you're looking at roughly around the same price. Now, if you were to build this airplane to the max and have it IFR certified, have all the whistles and bells in it, you're looking at maybe around $220,000 to $240,000. So we saved the best for last. The best kit airplane that you'll find in the market today is the Vance RV-10. Vance is arguably the number one kit builders in all of aviation all around the world. And Vance aircraft have so many different models, so many different categories. You can pick and choose yourself. You have two seaters, to four seaters to aerobatics airplane but we chose the rv10 today because it is probably the most useful one out of all of their lines of airplanes and when you think of the average pilot who has kids or wants to bring friends along on a ride the rv10 is the likely choice and so why is this airplane the best experimental airplane out there well for what you're getting for every dollar this airplane is worth it Performance wise, utility, comfort, range, just all of the above, I believe the RV-10 hits all of the checks. Now, starting with the cost, a well-built RV-10 can be bought anywhere from $175,000 all the way to $200,000 or $250,000. If you were to build one yourself, you're probably looking to spend even less than that. But if you were to buy one ready-made, you're looking to spend close to 200,000 or a little bit over $200,000. Now, what do you get for all that money? First, you get an airplane that could actually sit four people comfortably, okay? You have a useful load of over a thousand pounds and you get a hundred pounds of baggage area. The best airplane I can compare the RV-10 to is maybe the Cirrus SR-22. Now with the Cirrus, you get all the bells and whistles, luxury interior and all of the above, uh, and you're looking at close to a million dollars for a brand new Cirrus SR-22. Another great thing about the RV-10 and all the other airplanes listed on this video is that you generally have different choices and different options of engine size that you want to use. For every airplane listed, you can choose a less powerful engine, a more powerful engine, you have different options for your avionics, you have different options for your interior. You basically build the airplane as you want based on your personal preference. And I think that's the most beautiful thing about a kit build is the fact that you have a hand in just about everything that goes into the airplane. Other than the main part that is already instructed by the factory, everything else you put in that airplane is based on personal choice and personal preference and whatever fits your desires and your mission for your airplane. And to talk a little more performance with the RV-10, this airplane cruises at 170 knots. That's about 200 miles per hour easy. So it's an airplane that will get you to places and get you there quickly. And the greatest thing about Vance aircraft is the community. Oh my God, Vance has such a large community, 
not just in the United States, but around the world. Anywhere you go, you can literally find a community of vans builders there. So that's one great thing you see about this aircraft company. And for most people who are thinking about getting into experimental airplanes, the first brand that comes to mind is always vans. And it's there for a reason. It's because it's been the longest, it's been the safest, and it's been the one with the most reliable community. This is why the RV10 is number one on the list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And if there's an aircraft that you think should be on the list and didn't make the video, let me know in the comments below. I'm always learning new airplanes too. So let me know if there's a particular airplane that should be on this video and it's not. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video.